Okay, um, the Romans were very much satanic, and the Pope is, is proof of that. So is Mardi Gras and different things that they, that so is the Day of the Dead, um, different things that they worshipped. Um, these these people, these Romans, the Pope and whatnot, were satanic. Um, and the fact that they were satanic leads you back to Egypt because in Egypt they were also satanic. Um, so we, you, you don't really want to put Egyptians together with like Roman mythology and stuff like that. But I do pair them together and it's because the Romans are satanic and the Egyptians were satanic. And they're still Egyptians nowadays too. There's Arabics and, um... They, they worship Allah and all that. But um, anyway, there's some of them which believe in Satan, probably the higher-ups, especially of like the Roman Catholic Church. They believe in Satan. Um, they take communion and that's, that's their idea of eating Christ's body, as he says. But they, they don't figure that he's being figurative because their satanic ways want... They're gross in their satanic ways. They want to see it as badly as possible. They don't want to see anything living. They they prefer to think about dead things and things that um, are satanic um, or transform things into satanic. Um, mostly what I've learned from them is they're full of a lot of stuff that's not common sense. And if it's not common sense and it's a thought that's coming into your head or something like that, it's probably a delusion because um, most most things that are bizarre and wonderful, um, I'm not saying they don't exist, because some of them uh, very much do exist, especially especially with devices and things like that that they have nowadays. But it's predicted that the that the Satan worshippers and Satan himself will like technology. Um, though, well, it doesn't say technology; it says devices. Um, it says that they have devices that they forecast against the saints. So, but anyway, that's why I put the Romans together with the Egyptians is because in my mind, they're both satanic, at least at the top they are. Um, so the things that the top of their organizations are trying to get people to do are satanic. Um, they're not common sense like you would hope that that someone would have. They're, they're leading you to do things that don't really make sense. Um, and they're leading you down into hell. Uh, Proverbs talks about uh, basically taking a woman that's not your wife um, uh, as a prostitute or something like that, that she is, her steps lead you to hell. Um, because she, she basically takes the food out of your house and replaces it with what I've seen. Um, the prostitutes... Uh, hang around alcohol, they use, they use, um, their money on, on, like, drugs or alcohol, um, which is taking them, leading them straight to hell, um, just like the Bible says, but, um, I think they're into a lot of this, uh, alcohol and stuff like that, because deep down, I think that it's, like, witches' potions, like, witches' hazel and stuff like that, they believe some of these cer certain poisonous plants, like belladonna helps your eyes when you're having an eye surgery, but they believe um, that certain poisonous plants, which typically do bad for the body, that they can put them in special mixtures and make them do good for the body. Um, and I'm not saying that's not true either. I don't know enough about witches and witchcraft and stuff to say if it's true or if it's not true. Um, all I know is like if I see people doing it, I try to avoid it. Because overall, it seems like, common sense again, overall, it seems like they're um, doing something harmful to themselves. Um, so I don't really, I don't listen too much when they talk about killing the pain and stuff like that. Because um, everybody knows that painkillers and, and stuff like that come from doctors. And uh, they're released, basically, like that, they're released as needed not as wanted like like a lot of witches would ha would have you believe but um anyway witches do a lot of potions and stuff like that which are real um but overall you can see that the 
trend is downhill. So I say if if it if it doesn't make common sense, uh, probably try to avoid it.